Hey guys, in this video we shall see another problem. Symmetric tree. Given the root of a binary tree, check whether it is a mirror of itself that is symmetric around its center. So, let's understand this problem with the example. Let's imagine a tree containing nodes. Here comes 4 and 3. So, what they have told is given the root of a binary tree, check whether it is a mirror of itself that is symmetric around its center. So, what is the center of the tree? That comes in here. So, if you draw a line in the center, you can observe. One is at the root, so yeah, it is symmetry. This is symmetry, yes. And then comes with the two nodes, that is two and two over here. So if you have a tree like this, what's the mirror of this node when it comes to the left side? This left node will become the right node of the root. So you can observe here 2 is as the left node of the tree and this also a right node of the tree which is symmetric to each other. That's the mirror of itself. Then look into the third and fourth nodes. So when you come to the node 3 1, 2, 3 all are in the left nodes of the tree. So when you mirror this this will get attached to the right part of the two node. Similarly, for 4 also, as in you attach 4 to the right node of the node 2, when you mirror that node to the right side of the tree, it will become the left node of the node 2. So, hence this could be considered as a symmetric tree. Given the root of a binary tree, check whether it's a mirror of itself. Yes, it is a mirror of itself and it is a symmetric tree. So one thing what you observed is when only a one node is given that itself is a symmetric tree because it is symmetric to itself. It is a mirror of itself. If any node is not given, yes, even that is also a symmetric tree. It's a mirror of itself. When Nodes like this are given. Just draw a line. In the left node, it contains two, and the mirror of this, when it comes to the right part of the, yes, the node two, uh, uh, right node is containing with the value same as the two. And this is also a symmetric tree. So you can observe the roots left. When it's becoming mirror in the right part, this node will become root dot right. So, you can come to the conclusion that the root dot left, if that node is equal to equal to root dot right node, then that means it's a symmetric tree. That is, the tree is the mirror of itself. Example, another example you can take is 1, then 2, the mirror of this is 2 here draw a line then again you draw three so the mirror of this would come the right node of the root two so you can see here if you if you consider this as a root node now for this subtree then three would be the root dot left and that is equal to three that value and if you go to the mirror part of this tree here and if you consider this as the root now for this sub tree 2 3 then 3 will be considered as the root dot left even that is also equal to 3 so root dot this is root dot right sorry yeah, root dot 
not right that is also equal to 3 so you can observe root dot left equal to root dot right even here in this case if you consider 1 as a root root dot left equal to root dot right if these both values are same then that is a symmetric tree even here in this case if first you check for 1 root dot left is 2 root dot right is 2 so both are same hence this tree is a mirror of the it's a mirror tree that is symmetric tree next you go to the further nodes not the entire tree only this sub tree i have told next you go to further node if you consider for this sub tree now 2 and 3 so if 2 is a root node and its children is 3 is nothing but root dot left that is 3 and here if you come in if you consider this sub tree if 2 is a root node then 3 is the children chain so this is not root dot right even that is also equal to 3 so they are mirror of it so both the values are same hence this entire tree now you can consider it as a symmetry let's take a contradictory example now so 1 then comes in 2 2 3 and 3 so if you look into this example let's start with the root node equal to 1 now root equal to 1 so root dot left if this is a root root dot left is 2 then root dot right root dot right even that is also 2 Since both root dot left equal to root dot right, yes, this subtree is a mirror tree. Condition satisfied. It's a symmetric tree. Next, go to the further children now. Now, if you consider this condition is satisfied. Now, next, let's consider this subtree and this subtree. Now, to check whether all these are mirror of itself or not now. So if you consider 2 as the root node, now root will be equal to 2. For this left part, this root dot left now that will become a root. So root equal to 2. So root dot right we have. Root dot right is nothing but 3. If we have something with root dot right, next in the next tree, the mirror of that tree where root dot right is 2 that will become root 2 and here you have to check root dot left root dot left is nothing but this part do we have anything here no so that is equal to 0 hence you can observe here root dot right is 3 and root dot left is 0 which is not equal that means this is not a symmetric term. So this entire tree now we can tell us this is not a symmetric tree. Similarly, you can see here, if you consider root dot right, if you consider 2 as a root and root dot right, it is null. But here if you go and root dot left, if you find the mirror of that, mirror of this is this bond node, that will give you as 3 as a value, which is not equal, null is not equal to 3. So overall, what you can say, if they give a tree like this, And we have to do mirroring. This mirror will be this itself, the root node. Next for 2, the mirroring will be 3. And let's take a bigger tree now. And draw the line. So for 1, 1 itself is a mirroring. For 2, this 2 node is a mirror part. And next for 3, this 3 is the mirror part. If I attach one more four, both sides, four four is the mirror part. So if you reverse, just reverse this tree over here in the right side, you will get the same tree. Reversing matlab two and these two nodes will flip four comma three. That you will be getting in the right part. For this contradictory example, if you consider one, two. Two, three, 
and 3. So for root, root is actually the symmetric part. But for root dot left, you have 2. For this 2, we have this as a symmetric part because this is the right left node and this is the right node for this root. Next, if you go, if you see 2 dot left, root dot left, this is nothing but null. But here in this case, you have a 3 value where both are not equal. Even here also we have a null. And this is 3. So which are not equal. So this is also not equal. This is also not equal. This, this is not a symmetric tree. It's a binary tree. It's a not middle of pixel. So how to write the logic? First, we need to set the condition if root equal to null. If root equal to null, there is nothing. It's an empty tree. So that is symmetry. So you return true. Next, you have to uh, call a function. You have to make a function same as a boolean is symmetric. But in that tree node, root dot left and root dot right should be given as the argument. So, is symmetry of root dot left e node have to give and root dot right. So, once you give this, in this function, we have to check for what if a single node is present. If root dot left, or, or we have given root of left and root dot right as an argument. So if left equal to equal to null and right equal to equal to null, if both left and right are null, that means only root node is present. So it's a mirror to itself if you draw the line. So you have to return true. It's a symmetric tree. Next comes the second condition. This is one tree and this is the second tree. So here you can see left equal to some value but right is null. Here right left is null but right is some value. So how do we check this? If left equal to null or right equal to null. If either left equal to null, that is this condition, uh, this condition, or right equal to null, that comes to this condition, then this is not a symmetric tree. Because if left equal to equal to null, that means tree is containing only the right node, no left node. So if you mirror this, you won't be having the left part that will be null. So this is not a symmetric tree, you will return false. Similarly, if you take right equal to null, then you will have only left node, no right part. If you mirror this, no right node is present. So two and null, which is not equal to null. Hence, this is not a symmetric tree and we return false. So this is the second condition. First condition is only the root node present. Second condition, either left or right part is null. Next, we have to check for what if both the nodes are present? 1, 2, and but they are not equal. They are both left and right part are present. If left dot val is not equal to right dot val. Though we have the symmetric node, but the values are not same. Two is not equal to three. Hence, we return false. That means it's not a symmetric tree. After this, again we have to check if not symmetric of 
these are the possible condition you have to check so the after that you have to go, go for is not symmetric of left whatever left node you have for example if this t only extends to 4 t and 3 If you are at this node right now, you have to check left dot left, comma right dot left. This is one recursive call you have to give. Again, it will check for all the condition whether um, both uh, left dot left and right dot left are uh, null values or left dot left is some value and right dot left is null or right dot left is some value and left dot left is null so all this condition will be checked other condition will be for these nodes that is if not symmetric of left dot right so this is left dot right is not equal to right dot left right dot left So once you give this, then it will check whether both left and both or both these values are null or one of these values are present or the values presented these are same or not, this condition. If none of this condition is satisfied, uh, I mean becomes false, then you go for again symmetric mode. Again you go and perform the recursive call, all these things. So this is the logic part for the code. Once you program this, we will better understand this. So at first, if root equal to equal to null, then in such case, return root. If root equal to null, yes, it's a symmetric tree because none of the nodes are present, nothing to mirror itself. So it's a symmetric tree. If this is not the case, we will define a new function public boolean is symmetric of three node left comma three node right. I have given three nodes left and right. So for this, how to return is symmetric of root dot left comma root dot right as the parameters. Now what should be there inside this function? First condition I told if this both left and right part are null. So if left equal to equal to null and right equal to equal to null return true so you have this node here now root and both left and right are null values then you return true again you check for one more condition if either of the values present this is one tree and again, this is one. Here, left part is present, but no right part is present. Here, right part is present, but no left part is present. So, in such case, if left equal to equal to null or right equal to equal to null, so left equal to equal to null would be this condition. Then, for right equal to equal to null, this would be the list. If any one of these cases happens, then you return false because this is not the mirror of itself. You don't have a node 2 as a child node in the right part. If these cases satisfy, 
other condition would be we have both the nodes and some values assigned to it but both values are not correct if left dot val is not equal to right dot val right dot val then you return false two and three are not equal so they are not symmetric so you return false if none all of this condition gets passed means all of these condition uh doesn't become satisfied that means a symmetric tree is present now this condition will be there by this time now you have to check for the child nodes of this thing so to perform the symmetric tree Check the symmetry condition for these subtrees. You have to give the recursive call. If not is symmetry, of this is nothing but if if you consider this as the root. I mean, this is the left node for this. This is the left node, and this is the right node. And again, this is left. This is right for this subtree. If you consider this subtree, this is left, and this is right. So left dot left must be equal to right dot right. If left dot left, if this is not symmetric, uh, of okay right dot right. Check whether the tree with left dot left and right dot right are symmetric or not in this recursive call. Yeah. If this is not symmetric, then you return false. What if this is symmetric? In this case, you can see left dot left and uh, right dot right are symmetric. Then you go further to the children of three. Here it's null. Next comes the second part. Where left dot right should be symmetric to the right dot left. If not, not is symmetric of left dot right and right dot left. Left dot right and right dot left. If they are not symmetric. That means if these two values are not same. Then you return false. You know, if all of these conditions get false, lastly you return true. Why true? That means it's a symmetric tree. So all of these condition would become for false for this example till here. So you return true. Now we shall run this. Yes, it's been accepted. We'll submit and check. Yeah, I hope you guys have understood the problem. If you have any doubts, please drop out in the comment section and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. Thank you.